Hi everyone and welcome to part 3 of this Football Manager experiment where I swapped all the English divisions around well, all the teams in the English divi divisions around anyway and we're up to the end of the fourth season, I've holidayed it to June 2017 so we'll have to see where everyone is placed now and some teams have made it quite high up the leagues already or moved all the way down in some cases so the English Premiership was won by Cambridge this year 78 points, Birmingham in second championship team making it up the divisions Burton and Forest Green finished third and fourth Barnet South End qualifying for Europe Tamworth, Wickham and Alfreton going down I believe we only have three Champions League qualifiers now but yeah because um the reputation's gone down to four stars. It wasn't four and a half. So, yeah, it's been detrimental. Let's have a look at the player stats. And top scorer was Jordan Rhodes again, but this time he's gone to Cambridge. He was top scorer for Blackburn three years in a row in, in like consecutive divisions as they went up. League One, League Two, League One, Championship, Premiership. That is incredible. Only bought for 3.7 million by Cambridge, who are pretty rich now, I think, and one of the top teams in England, I do believe, looking at the wrong thing here, information, they are worth 241 million, they were predicted to finish first, and they finished first, so Cambridge back in the top division, and yeah, flying high, it's good to see, I mean, I like Cambridge, it's just a, a lovely city. And they've got a new stadium, built in 2016, 24,000 seater. So there you go. <laughs> it's funny seeing the massive rise. Transfer-wise, we'll have a see who's top. It was Angel Angelo Henriquez going from Man United to South End for 15.75 million. That's brilliant. Uh, who else? Suso going from Liverpool to Gateshead for 9.25 million. Yep, Cambridge signing John Flanagan <laughs> from Blackburn. We'll just have a look down the list and you can pause it if you're interested. A lot of signings going on there. Lots of money. Okay. That, that's far enough down, I think. The Championship was won by Man United, eventually getting one up on City, who finished second. Woking went up in the playoffs, beating Blackburn, Northampton and Nuneaton to go up. And, well, so there we go, the first two Premiership teams to make it all the way back up to the Premiership in four seasons. Exeter, Torquay and Kidderminster were relegated. Stats-wise... Jen Risek, top scorer for Blackburn. Simon Church for Woking, 21 goals. Assists was Wayne Rooney with 19. You'd have thought he'd finished top of the goals list as well, but he didn't. Uh, Nathaniel Klein is at Man City, top average rating. This is, I mean, there's some players that are you know, top quality still playing at the bottom, and it's just such a massive mix of players all over the divisions. Really interesting to see. Transfer-wise, top was Shell going from Chelsea to Man United for 31.5 million. Going from League One Chelsea to <laughs> Championship Man United. Aguero eventually left Man City, got fed up of Championship, well, lower down division football. But he, if he'd stayed, he'd be in the Premiership next season. But anyway, he's going to Juventus. Some interesting transfers there. Nani going to Chelsea... Nastasic going to PSG, and United signing a ton of players, Will Hughes, Oscar. But I'll go down the list and you can have a, a look again and pause. Man United sold character Inter. Ruddy went from Norwich to Man United. Some really interesting, crazy transfers that you just wouldn't expect in a million years. <laughs> I mean, Mark Albrighton was at West Ham apparently, moved to Derby. Next division, League 2. League 1, sorry. 
Top of League One, Chelsea getting promoted with 122 points, Arsenal second with 99, and Leeds getting up via the playoffs, beating Crew, Forest, and Brentford. And going down, Accrington, Stevenage, and Shrewsbury. Stats wise, we see Lukaku, top scorer of 30 goals, destroying League One. And. I mean, it hasn't really affected the development, I wouldn't say, of these players, despite playing in lower divisions. They've all... I mean, Boney, Boney's at Arsenal. Hazard's still at Chelsea. Willian's still at Chelsea. <laughs> They're going to destroy everyone, Chelsea, even in the Championship. Hmm. Interesting. Transfers. Top transfer was probably someone leaving Chelsea. Uh, leaving this division. Yep, show to Man United, of course. Oxley Chamberlain went to Barcelona for 25 million. Have a quick look at him. 43 England caps now, 8 goals. Uh, Marco van Ginkel leaving Chelsea for Shakhtar. Chalaba, Chelsea to Man United. I'll go down again. You can have a look at what's going on. Okay, League 2. League 2, Tottenham won, and Southampton finished second. Middlesbrough and Brighton also went up. Watford, and Watford, Charlton and Huddersfield missing out in the playoffs. So another two Premiership teams going up pretty easily there. Walsall and Morecambe got relegated down to the Skrill. Hyde <laughs> survive in League 2. That famous club from Twitter. Hilarious Twitter feed. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you do. Stats wise, we see Lafondra, top scorer for Brighton. Pablo Osvaldo, second with 25 goals. Soldado still at Tottenham. Robbie Brady, top assists for Brighton. And Soldado, second. And transfers. We saw Klein move to City for 10 million from Tottenham. Paulinho went to Stuttgart. Livermore, everyone left Tottenham, but they still. Won the division. And I'll, I'll go down. And you can pause. You know the script. Keep going. There we go. That's enough. Okay. And lastly, the Skrill. Who has escaped the Skrill Premier now? It is Liverpool going up. 170 point, 17 points. Wigan for a second. But missed out in the playoffs to Norwich. Look at all those teams getting up to 90 points. Crazy. Bottom of the, the standard Premiership teams that originally started in the Premiership was Sunderland. Reading and QPR there. No, you know, brilliant team getting relegated. Those Stockport, Newport, Dover, Eastleigh. Crystal, actually, oh, look at Crystal Palace. They finished 20th. <laughs> Behind Bradford, PA. Yeah. Reputation one and a half stars. I think that may have gone up because of these teams. Don't quote me on that though. But Liverpool eventually have escaped the Skrill. Just as Man United and Man City into the, the Premiership. So it'll be a few years until Liverpool get back to the Premiership. By which time Man City and Man United probably would have racked up a couple of titles each. So goals wise, Billy McKay was top for Wigan. And Matt Jarvis was top assists. Downing was second for West Ham as well. Transfers. We see... Oh, it's going down instead of up. Suso left Liverpool, as we saw before. Bonnie left Swansea eventually. Kolka left Cardiff. Redmond left uh, Norwich for South End. As these new Premiership teams start to get a bit of money and can afford these players. Lots of big transfers in the Skrill Premier. And now I shall... We'll look at the Cups. Okay. So, Leicester and Sheffield United promoted from Skrill North. Hole! Oh, look, they're stuck. Along with Scunthorpe, who went up from the Skrill South. Ebbs, Fleet and Boreham Wood. That's the problem with uh, four reasonably big teams going down from the North, all having to play in the same division. <laughs> Meaning... Um, Two of them are stuck. 
FA Cup. Barnet beat Cambridge 3-1. Wow. <laughs> There we go. Barnet went in the FA Cup. That's brilliant. League, uh, the League Cup's obviously screwed up, as we said before. Hereford beat Burton in the Community Shield. Johnson's Pink Trophy was won by Brighton against Sheffield Wednesday. English FA Trophy 3-0 win for Wigan against Villa. And now we look at the European competitions. So Europe. Champions League was won by... Juventus beaten AC Milan in the final and we'll look at the groups see how our English teams did Barnet finished bottom but got 4 points uh, Hereford top of their group with 10 points we'll see how they got on and Bart Burton also top of their group going up and lastly oh, there's only 3 now isn't there so we'll see where how uh, Hereford lost against Barcelona 2-1 Burton won against Benfica. So how far did they go? They lost against Juventus in the quarters. Unlucky Burton. This is the England team. 16th in the world. Top players Rooney, Wilshire, Walcott, Welbeck, Baines and Oxlade-Chamberlain. Half of which don't play in England anymore. More than half. Major clubs. <laughs> now uh, Man United still top after going up. Cambridge... A second, Hereford third, Chelsea, Birmingham, Tottenham, Burton. It's, it's a right old mix of clubs, isn't it? Hilarious. Anyway, we'll go to the end of the next season. Do one more season in this video. Oh no, we'll do two more. It'll be a long video, but for those of you that are interested, you will watch. Okay, we're at the end of 2017-18 season. And let's quickly go down the divisions usually pick up a bit, a bit more pace by the time we get to this point. Cambridge actually still won the league, beating Man United to the title. That's good to see. Birmingham third. Aldershot, Southend also qualifying for Europe. Lincoln, Dartford, FC Halifax getting relegated. We forgot to see who won the Euro Cup last year. We'll have a quick look at the end for the last two seasons. Stats-wise, top. Jordan Rhodes again. He has been a beast. Seriously been a beast. He's scoring so many goals every single season, wherever he plays. Top scorer. Cambridge of a spinner. Oh, brilliant keeper. Love him. Farrow Oni was top assist along with Sigurdsson. About <laughs> Burton. Uh, um, yeah, okay, transfers. Top was... Raheem Sterling moving to AS Monaco from Cambridge for 32.5 million. They made a profit there. Diego Reyes moving to Man United. Man United just tried to sign a load of players, but still didn't win the league. Cambridge beat them to it, which is fantastic to see. You know the drill. You can pause if you want to see all these things, all these players, all these transfers, etc. Okay, championship. Let's pick up the pace slightly. Top, Chelsea. No surprises there. Arsenal also going up. Alfreton beating Hartlepool. Blackburn once again missing out in the playoffs and Derby. So Alfreton going up, back up. Leighton Orient, Plymouth, Rochdale getting relegated. Stats wise, Luke James top scorer, Eden Hazard second. William top assist once again. Transfer wise, we see top was Nani moving from Man United to Chelsea. Rune Rasmussen. Oh, Rasmussen. <laughs> I don't know what I said there. <laughs> Eric Mahido. Whatever. Anyway, you can have a look yourself. I'm not reading these out. No point. I've, I'm probably moving too quickly for you to pause now. Sorry. I'll, I'll upload the, the database at some point. You can have a look yourself. And now down to League One, which was won by Tottenham. Going up. Crew and Crawley also going up. Southampton missing out. So, for once, the Premiership team didn't go up. Good to see Crew and Crawley going up to the Championship. Bradford, AFC Wimbledon, Exeter, and Knox County going down. Stats wise, Ladapo, top scorer for Carlisle. Alex Gilby and Sheehan, top assists. Huddleston's back at Tottenham. There we go. Went back to Tottenham. And transfers. 
we see Eric Lamella eventually left Tottenham, went to AS Monaco. Ericsson left Tottenham, Kapoe left Tottenham, everyone left Tottenham, <laughs> but they still won the league. Let's go down, you can pause it. Okay, League 2. So, top of League 2, Liverpool winning the league, going up for the second season in a row. Charlton, Bristol City also get an automatic promotion. Hyde finished fourth. Ah, oh, so unlucky, Hyde. Norwich, Watford and Blackpool in the playoffs, but Watford won it. Stevenage Nidge and Accrington went down. Stats-wise, Theo Robinson, 24 goals, top scorer for Watford. Jay Ricketts, top assist for Hyde. And transfers. We see Coutinho left Liverpool, and as did Sacco. Yeah, Iago Aspas went from Newcastle back to Liverpool. Interesting. Let's go down. You can have a look. Do, 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 do. Not as many transfers now in these divisions. Starting to calm down a bit. And the Skrill Premier. Who won it? Have West Ham got promoted yet? No. Newcastle champions. Fulham also going up. Everton missing out, West Brom, West Ham, Wigan, Sunderland, Stokes, Swansea, Villa, Cardiff, Palace, Reading, QPR still there, Sheffield United all the way down there, Bradford, PA, Boreham, Wood, Ebsley, and Leicester finishing rock bottom, 10 points deducted from Leicester. They got in trouble last in the last um, series as well. They got really ruined, and they once again they've been ruined thanks to financial difficulties. Stats-wise... Ilua, top for Wigan. Danny Graham for Everton as well. Jonas Olsen, top of the assists. Transfers. We see Seamus Coleman moving from Everton to Tottenham. Uh, just a few for you there. You can see not as many big ones now. Most of the big players have left. Actually, we'll, let's have a look at a team. We'll look at Everton. Brian McDermott is manager. This is the team. They've still got Phil Jagielka. He must be 52. Oh, he's only 35. Uh, who else is in there? James Vaughan, Danny Graham, Stockdale. Let's have a quick look at the finances, see what's happened to them. Information. So they're now worth, they're still worth 27.5 million, but I'm sure that's gone down for probably something like 90. And Phil Jagielka is still the captain. So that's what's happened to this team. The Screw North was won by Stockport. Scunthorpe was going out, up. Hole missing out again. And the Screw South. Newport County and Sutton United going up. FA Cup was won by Birmingham. 1 0 against South End. Communi Community Shield. Barnet won. 2 0. Tottenham won the Johnson's Paint Trophy. 2 1 against Crew. Villa won the FA Trophy. 3 1 against Rotherham. And I need to remember to do the Euro Cup this time. So I think I shall do that first. So I don't forget. So the final was won by Valencia, 1-0. Last year's was won by Leverkusen, 3-0. So there you go. No English teams. We won't look at the, uh, the groups. We'll have a look at the groups of the Champions League, though. Where am I going? Here we go. Juventus. I believe won it again. No, PSG won it. I was looking at the previous one. So 3-1 against Juventus. We'll have a look at how the English teams did. All groups. So, let's go down. Cambridge got through. Second in their group. 13 points. Um, where's the others? Birmingham didn't go through. I'm sure there should be another one. Ah, there's probably only two automatic places now. One of them's a, a playoff. So, how did Cambridge get on? They lost against Juventus, the eventual finalists. Not bad. England, 28th in the world now, really going downhill. And Man United still top of the major clubs. 
I was going to look at Euro, whatever it was. Holland won Euro 2016. Okay, one more season in this video and then we shall finish for this video. <laughs> okay, one final season, we're at the end of June, two, well, start of June 2019, sorry. And the Premiership looks like this. Man United eventually won, second time of trying, 96 points, completely dominated the league. Man City finished in 7th, Cambridge, Hereford and Gateshead. There's once again four European, well... Yeah, Champions League places available. South End, Birmingham also qualifying for Europe. Portsmouth relegated once again. Aldershot and Alfreton will survive. Stats wise, top scorer Carlos Fierro for Cambridge. Ah, legend. What a player. Look at that. Brilliant. Uh, Jay Rodriguez, second for Hereford. He's an England player. Sigurdsson, top assists for Burton. Look at those names. David De Gea, Wanyama, and Will Hughes play for Man United now. Transfer-wise, Man United feature heavily, signing tons of players. Eduardo Vargas, uh, Saviet. We'll have a look at the Man United team, just to... David Moyes still manager. Got them all the way up to the Premiership straight away, as we know. And some names there. Ben Davis. Cag was still there. Gaston Ramirez. Don't know where Rooney is now. Let's have a quick look. Rooney. Wayne Rooney. Oh, he's in the Man United under 21s in the reserve team. His stats have gone down, especially technical ones. Okay, the championship was won by Spurs. 88 points. Derby and Lincoln also getting promoted. Who missed out here? Blackburn. They've, <laughs> they've dropped down. They, they were so close to getting to the Premiership every single time. Leeds all the way down there, just above York. Two Yorkshire clubs there. And stats-wise, Bill McKay was top scorer for Nuneaton. Luke Murphy, top assist for Halifax. And transfer-wise, we see... Ramirez moved from Tottenham to Man United. Much moved from Tottenham to Gateshead. Uh, Tottenham signed Thomas Nessid. We go down here. Don't know why those two are highlighted. You can have a look at what's going on in the Championship. Okay, League Two. Let's go down. Top of League Two. Liverpool once again winning their league. Brentford and Brighton also going up. Rochdale, Fleetwood, Preston and MK Dons going down. Stats-wise, Stephen Fletcher and Donnelly and Beck all got 19 goals each. Uh, Josh Sheehan, top assists for Brentford. And transfer-wise, we can see James Wallace to Cambridge to Liverpool. So that's going that way. Cambridge obviously didn't, didn't want Wallace. And you can have a look. I'll just go down. Most of the big names have obviously, obviously left now. And there's obviously regions coming into play as well. Add into the mix. Danny Potts. Didn't really develop, unfortunately. Now at York. Okay, League 2 now. Norwich, Champions and Hyde went up. Yes, well done Hyde. Newcastle also going up automatically. Fulham winning the playoffs. So three original Premiership teams going up in one go there. Port Vale and Peterborough got relegated. Stats wise. Will Grigg, top scorer for Norwich. Don't know who he is. And Jason Twern, top of the assist list along with Will Johnson Royston Drenth is at Norwich as is Billy Jones transfers Ro Miyachi from Newcastle to Gateshead uh, you can have a look as usual by pausing the video and lastly Skrill Premier 
West Brom get, winning the league on goal difference, and West Ham going up via the playoffs. Ah, that's good to see. Everton, Cardiff, and Swansea missing out in the playoffs. Relegated Sheffield United, Scunthorpe, Accrington, and Sutton United. Stats wise, Asorio and Carroll still at West Ham, top scorers. He's, yeah, gone downhill. Pilkington, oh, what, four players with 13 assists there. And transfer wise, we saw there's not big money left anymore. I mean, everyone's leaving, or, I mean, has already left. And it's just random players now that are moving. I mean, let's look at the West Ham team. They've got Carroll still, obviously. Craig Gordon. But pretty much no one there apart from Carroll stayed at West Ham. That's pretty hilarious, to be honest. Henning Berg is the manager. Okay. So there we go. That's the end. Oh, I haven't done the cup. So I'm, this video is too long. <laughs> I've just... Uh, I can't remember anything. I can't remember how to talk. Screw North was won by Leicester. Ultranum went up in the playoffs. Hull still missing out. White Hawk and Borehamwood went in. The Screw South. Okay. English FA Cup. Birmingham won. I'm sure they've won it before. Beaten Chelsea 3 2. Community Shield was won by Cambridge against Birmingham. Liverpool won the Paint Johnston's Paint Trophy. And Cardiff won the FA Trophy once again. But they're still stuck in the conference. Champions League. Oh, we need to look at the World Cup as well. Ugh. Okay. Champions League was won by Man United. The first English team to do so since that first season when they won it as well. And how did the other English teams do? We see Birmingham qualifying and Cambridge qualifying too. And obviously Man United did. So, how did they do in the first knockout round? Cambridge lost against Bayern Munich. And Birmingham lost against AS Monaco. Quick look at the Euro Cup. Then we'll look at the World Cup. This must be my longest video ever. Hanover won against Napoli. And World Cup was won by Mexico. Beating Brazil in the final. Let's see how England did. If they actually qualified. Chile finished second. Beating Belgium. Two players that you'd sort of expect to get to that stage on this game actually. It's well predicted I would say. Can't see England anywhere. There, oh no, it's Northern Ireland <laughs> against Serbia. Did England even make it? Possibly not. No, we did not even make it to the World Cup 2018. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please leave a like. I know it was really long. Sorry about that. But if, I mean, you've got the option of switching off if you want or watching it half and half. So if you want another one, please leave a like. And I will do another one. Um, if you don't, then don't leave a like. But it would be nice to do another one where I just holiday it really far in the future. Or I can just keep doing this for a, a few more videos. It's up to you, really. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.